Okay, let's talk about the midpoint formula. And this is the midpoint formula right here. And this is not to be confused with the distance formula. Oftentimes when uh, students are uh, learning algebra or geometry and you're learning about the midpoint formula, you're also learning about the distance formula. And uh, students can tend to confuse those two formulas. Just got done doing a video on the distance uh, formula. So uh, I would suggest that you review that as well if you're reviewing the midpoint formula. So we're gonna go ahead and look at a basic example. Uh, and by the time you finish this video, you'll be an expert in the midpoint formula. But before we get going, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabit Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over many years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the strongest most comprehensive math help programs. I'm going to uh, leave a link to that program in the description of this video. So whether you need to take a full online math class or you need um, help with your current math course, all right, uh, my program can help you. Also, as a math teacher, I just can't help not to always um, stress the importance of note taking. Okay, those students who take the best notes generally tend to have the best grades and the reverse is true. Those students who t don't take notes or struggle taking notes or have poor disorganized notes tend to not do well in math. So you got to take great notes. Um, so if your notes are not where they need to be, you need to work on improving your note taking. I actually have a couple YouTube videos on that and how you want to approach that. But uh, in the meantime, you need something to study from. So I offer notes as well. I'm going to leave a link to those in the description of this video. Those would include uh, pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry and algebra two and trigonometry. All right, so here we go. Here's our midpoint formula. And let's take a look at a problem. All right, so what are we talking about here? Well, we're talking about the midpoint. What does that mean, the midpoint? Well, it kind of sounds like it's in it's the point that's in the middle, right? The midpoint, it's the point that's in the middle. Well, and that's exactly what it is. So here I have two points on the xy coordinate plane. So I'm like, well, what what would be the point that's between the middle of these two points? Okay, like in other words, where is the halfway uh, point between these two uh, uh, ordered pairs? Well, it might be like right here, right? Somewhere like, oh, I don't know, something like right here. Seems like that would be like midway, but this point here would be like halfway here and halfway here, right? So kind of like the middle uh, between these two points. And that's exactly what the midpoint is. We're trying to determine that middle point. So what we're looking for, okay, the answer, the midpoint is a specific x, y point, okay? So that's the answer. Unlike the distance formula, when you use the distance formula, you're finding the distance between two points. The midpoint, you're finding the actual location that's in the middle between two ordered pairs, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and find the midpoint uh, between these two coordinates, negative 2, negative 1, and 6, 4. Now, this is super easy, okay, because the way you find the midpoint is effectively we're going to average the x's and average the y's. That's all it is. So here, uh, our x coordinates is 6 and negative 2, okay? So to find the average, you simply add these guys up. Okay, 6 and negative 2 and divide by 2. That's all you do. So that's what this part of the formula uh, states. Okay, we're going to average the x's. So take your x's, add them up, and divide by 2. And we're going to do the same thing with the y's. Okay, so we'll average the y's. In other words, we're, at, we're going to take 4, add it to negative 1, and divide that by 2. And then when we simplify all this math, okay, we are going to have the, the actual midpoint. Okay, so our x is here or is 6 and negative 2. So we're going to take 6, add it to negative 2, divide it by 2. All right. And then we're going to average our y's, which is 4 plus negative 1. And then we'll divide that by 2. Okay. And let's go ahead and simplify that. So our midpoint is going to be 6 plus negative 2 is, of course, 4 uh, over 2. And then 4 plus 1 is going to be 3 over 2. And when we simplify that, 4 over 2 is 2, okay, and then we have three halves right here. And that is our answer. This is the actual location, the midpoint between 
those two um, ordered pairs. So let's go down and take a look at this two and three halves. All right. And it kind of makes sense too. If you kind of like had this on graph paper, here was our two coordinates and we're saying our midpoint is like right there. And that would be located at two and three halves. And that's a reasonable point. Okay. That would be like, oh yeah, that seems like it would be in the middle. Okay. So one of the things that you uh, can always kind of check your answers with, whether it's the distance formula midpoint, let's say you came up with um, uh, an answer like this and negative a negative 10 right let's say you came up with an answer like that or for whatever reason you made some sort of you know um, error but if you look at this if this is negative 2 negative 8 negative 10 would be like way down there right I mean you have to kind of look at your um, answers and just ask themselves are they reasonable answers you could do this very quickly okay you'd be like okay two and three halves yeah that makes sense especially if you have yourself a little graph all right now you don't have to have a little sketch a little x y graph but it's very it's helpful okay if you can make that um you can definitely see if an answer is going to be reasonable all right so mm, just another little tip in terms of working with the midpoint formula all right so it doesn't have to be any more complicated uh, than that i think where students do get in trouble okay is one they don't know what the formula is they get it, uh, scared with it um, but they'll add up the um, instead of adding the x's they'll add up the uh, x and a y they'll make some sort of computational error all right so just be careful with these positive and negative uh, values and make sure you fully simplify but that's it okay so that is the midpoint formula not a difficult formula to use but one that's going to come up for sure okay and again if you're learning about the midpoint formula, you're definitely learning um, about the distance formula, right? So I would suggest that you check out my video that I just made on the distance formula as well. I'll try to link it um, to this video, but you'll certainly find it in my algebra uh, and or uh, geometry playlist. Okay, so with that being said, uh, all this um, it's not going to really do you any good unless you practice this. So practice, practice, practice. Uh, and if this video helped you out, please consider practicing smashing that like button. All right, that I would appreciate. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully, um, you know, you enjoy my teaching style and you will become a subscriber, right? I have hundreds of videos organized in various playlists on my channel right now that can help you out. Again, my best resources are going to be um, my math help program and my notes. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.